Good afternoon on what is a grey, mild and blustery day. It is Thursday the 6th of October and I've got a nice hot cup of tea. And some parcels to unbox. So, let's have a look at this. Which is the big book of Cyberpunk Battle Mats. 60 pages of battle mats for modern tabletop role playing games. Now, this is from Loke Battle Maps. Now, I've done unboxings of, of Loke Battle Mats, uh, battle mats before, and they've all been fantasy um, uh, um, battle map sets. Uh, and I reviewed them, and they're really kind of good, um, useful to bring out to the table and, and help bring the scenes. Uh, for encounters and battles to life. You've got some miniatures you put down on the table. And all of these books are you know, basically, they, they, they do a larger size like this, almost like an, um, uh, but this is the, that's a bit of a standard book. Um, but uh, publisher Loke Battle Mats has branched out with a set of battle mats designed to be compatible with your cyberpunk game, with your cyberpunk red game. Um, now they're not official um, maps, but they're compatible because if you have a look at the uh, the data pack, uh, there's some maps in that set, and there's some I believe there's some maps in the Jumpstart box set as well. So, open and roll 60 white clean battle map pages. Attention adventurers, the big book of cyberpunk battle maps is the is the ideal set of cyberpunk modern and post-apocalyptic battle maps to keep your party rolling through any and every encounter. Uh, 60 white clean back map pages that will run you through the shadows of mean streets, murder alleys, bars, supermarkets, offices and across abandoned train yards, warehouses and of course the unrelating bleak wilderness to find danger, excitement and rewards. And very possibly a little bit of a fight. Uh, designed to spark the imagination, illustrate and track encounters using the, the gridded maps, the big book of cyberpunk battle maps. Uh, offer endless flexibility. You can use each map individually by folding the book in half or use the low flat spine to combine complementary opposing pages as one larger two page spread version. So draw your hand cannon and roll for initiative. So there we go. And then essentially we've got the little blurb on the back and then a breakdown of all the maps in the book. So let's open this up and see what we've got inside. Windy. So we've got the ninth book and it's a plastic cover um, and you open up uh, and you have um, basically um, kind of a low end um, uh, almost like a motel location with um, simple rooms, um, uh, you know, double beds, um, at, uh, uh, toilet, to toilet and bathroom facilities, and that's it. So almost like a, a, a motel. Um, then we have um, street scene um, and a bars, um, shops, that kind of thing. So. Uh, and then a, a lot an actual internal bar larger place um, with uh, you know lots of, like, tables and you know, just basically like, um, an open open area streets and these are actually compatible with, in terms of sort of like style and look with the maps you're going to get in the data pad for Cyberpunk Red uh, they are you know, mostly streets uh, scenes, but you can easily just abut these to, these to whatever like, edge you want, uh, and they work nicely. Um, they're not as high quality as these maps, because um, as you can see, they are really very nice. And um, rooftop location, and if you've played enough of uh, Cyberpunk 27, 2077, the computer game, then you kind of recognise sort of like a, a rooftop scene like that. You know, you do enough creeping across the roofs um, of buildings uh, to take out guards and watchers and potentially open up um, to skylights and slip down into the buildings. 
uh, here we have a, um, an underground station of some kind, elevators either side, um, or escalators, sorry, uh, and then the, the, the concourse. Uh, and then uh, we either have a helipad, or if you're at Cyberpunk Red, that's going to be an aerodyne pad, uh, but H for, house, or H for um, helicopter, of course, and that'll fit any modern game as well. So you've got another roof scene um, featuring um, it available to you as a map. Is that, um, there's two maps in there. Um, a supermarket or corner store uh, or bodega, something like that. Um, and you're kind of reminded of the uh, Stacker Shuffer um, or Shuffer st uh, uh, Stacker um, uh, kind of setting for uh, Shuffer Run, you know, that the, the starting scenario where you, you have a fight in a, con a convenience store. Um, Kind of like a larger building street scene, that sort of thing, um, you know, uh, office rooms, that kind of thing. But, uh, um, with an entrance, you know, and you've got the man security there, main door there. But, uh, and then internal buildings and internal rooms. Um, but, uh, not Necessarily, particularly, I'd say you know you're gonna okay. Well, how can I use this? You're gonna have to think about it a bit. But you know, there's plenty of maps here for for variety. Um, and then um, again, similar kind of location at the first, but it gets over over the top of like a court, lower courtyard. So these are almost rooftop buildings. Or I think actually this is um, more. Uh, the inter in internal features of a building, so you've got central um, sort of courtyard or hallway uh, with you know open space and stairs going down in the corner here, and then buildings either uh, sorry flats or apartments either side. Uh, open concourse, potential entry to the um, subway or underground. Um, uh, double strip, double roads, you know, you know but, uh, for a street scene, a road race, or something, ambush, um, uh, internal, larger internal, sort of like either like a penthouse or um, office area or reception. Um, classic kind of warehouse. What else we got in here? Um, and then um, basically a, a, a store, uh, um, uh, freight yard, uh, of course, with the classic um, freight um, boxes. Um, not quite sure what that is. But, uh, facility, top of a facility of some kind, uh, engineering or development or something. And then uh, almost um, outside rooms, almost a racetrack there, as you see going around. So well, these are more obviously, you know, out in the badlands um, or um, the, definitely for the post-apocalyptic setting. As is that where you've got the, the street scene, the ruined buildings, the car um, in the corner there. Nothing much left of the buildings. Uh, and similarly again, uh, wrecked roads, um, just worn down by time on whatever, whatever else the effects, the, excuse me, the apocalypse was. Uh, shattered buildings. So we've basically we've gone from, from street scenes to, um, collapse, to the collapse itself. Um, plain grass, yeah, okay. And then um, ruined tr railway tracks. I would have liked another uh, um, carriage or something along there. Um, uh, and then broken up work you know, warehouse facilities or just sort of like the storage area outside, that sort of thing. Um, rough area followed by you have an open section there which the, the you know as a GM or referee you can just wipe on 
or uh, sort of right on and wipe off and you can do that with all of the maps in this volume so yeah that's the big book of cyberpunk battle maps uh, nice little collection um, you're going to get a, a decent amount of use if you use miniatures if you combine them with the maps available from cyberpunk especially or if you want to use them for your post-apocalyptic or modern or modern set games um, yeah uh, to, and you know it's all sort of like uh, roughly um, 25 millimeter scale all nicely done so if uh, you are looking for maps for your modern games uh, here's a very portable resource anyway i hope you've enjoyed this unboxing in the nook if you have then please do click on the like button down below and of course if you've got any comments or feedback appreciate you taking the time to post those uh, and lastly if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the nook where you'll see me out here uh, with a parcel uh, from which i will unbox a book or game um, or just unwrap in this case and uh, chat about it to the best extent of my ability for roughly uh, 10 minutes or so all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea and then please do hit that subscribe button down below in the meantime thanks again for watching another unboxing in the nook i'll be back again soon with another one bye for now